Tonight's Roanoke City Council meeting got unusually heated over the whether the city should move election day for council members from May to November. Yeah, those in favor say it would increase voter turnout, while those opposed say local elections would get lost in elections for Congress and President. But on a 4-2 to two vote, council voted to get the wheels moving on this issue. Our 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer was there. And Shane, what's the pulse of the council tonight? Brittany and John, you know, in the chambers, you could feel the tension between the council members, the city attorney, and then many in the crowd who were giving their either objections or cheers or jeers to whatever was being said. The city attorney today saying that he was, or excuse me, you could observe that he was visibly frustrated and one council member saying she was blindsided by what she felt was a forced vote this evening. There are two issues at hand. The first is whether to move elections from May to November outright. The second is if they do do that move, would it be November in even years or November in odd years? The city has been thinking about doing this for nearly a decade, following the lead of other towns and cities across the state. And voter turnout is highest on presidential elections, which are every four years on even years. Councilman Bestpitch and Councilwoman Davis voted against it. Bestpitch saying he's heard from other localities who wish they hadn't done it. Davis saying no vote was on the agenda. Other council members were texting behind her back, and she was not prepared to vote on the issue. Odd year voting would put local elections in line with state elections, which some are in favor of. Council gave initial approval for November even year voting after Mayor Lee says they were done talking and ready to move, despite some council members saying that was not what was discussed. Some of my colleagues may be pressing for a vote tonight because you have the majority and you can get it passed tonight. Um, it's really disappointing that you wouldn't want this to be a public discussion in which we're all weighing both sides of the options. I just have confidence in the voting public that you can make a decision on who you want to vote for. I don't care who's at the top of the ballot. I, I trust you. I trust you. And I think as somebody said earlier, it's time. It's time. Tonight, the council approved a motion to direct the city attorney and city manager's office to work on the paperwork to make this happen. Council would still need to approve an ordinance to do it. That's scheduled for the November 4th meeting. If they do go to November even years, every member of council will see their term extended by six months. If they do go to odd years, they'll all be decreased by six months. We're working to learn what other implications this change could have. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.